Meanwhile, public anger mounts against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Thousands took to the streets of Tel Aviv to call for a deal to release the hostages held by Hamas, while anti-government demonstrators called for new elections in the country. In Tel Aviv, Israeli police use water cannons against demonstrators, demanding the government's resignation. It was the third Saturday in a row that they have used pressurized water spraying vehicle on the demonstrators who blocked a main road. I think that someone in this government, whom mostly none of them ever served, and they don't want it, they don't send any of their families to the army, they need to take us uh, seriously because we are not going uh, to die or uh, to be their ships. We want uh, this government uh, to take us seriously, to quit. Three demonstrations uh, took place simultaneously and they were all aimed at the government. Well, families in Tel Aviv are focused on bringing home the remaining hostages. We know that Hamas get answer to Israeli government uh, and we hope that soon as possible all the hostages will release and we hope that Israel will agree with the Hamas offer. Okay, and uh, we know that uh, tomorrow uh, our head of uh, Mossad travel to Doha. Okay, maybe there will be uh, negotiation. Okay, and we hope soon as possible we get answer there is a new deal. About 120 hostages were freed during a November ceasefire that also led to the release of hundreds of Palestinians from Israeli prisons.